1968, it was a year of real tragedy, the most divisive year, I believe, in American political history since the Civil War. The revolution was on in America. Social, cultural, moral, campuses were ablaze. The anti-war movement was rising. You had the civil rights movement, as I mentioned, was degenerating in many cases into riots. So all of these things caused more and more Americans to say, it's not turning out well, and something is terribly wrong with our country. Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis. 100 American cities went up in flames and smoke and fire and violence and looting and burning. It was horrendous. And that tremendously influenced the politics of that year. In early June, Robert Kennedy had been shot in Los Angeles in a hotel kitchen. The nation had been torn apart by a half decade of assassinations and riots. 30,000 Americans were dead in Vietnam. Half a million soldiers were tied down in an endless war. The American people were beginning to say this country is coming apart. The future silent majority was being formed right there in uh, 1968. And it is the story of a man who rose from one of the worst defeats in American political history and the worst occasions and came back from basically a broken career to lead a shattered and ruined party not only to victory in 1968, but to create a great coalition that succeeded FDR's coalition and dominated the presidency for 20 of the next 24 years. It was an incredible history with an incredible man. I don't care which side of the politics you're on. His perseverance, his courage, his ability to get up from defeat again and again and again is just unbelievable. I, Richard Bilhouse Nixon, do solemnly swear